Another success story recorded on the Grenada Citizenship by Investment Program. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the news in detail for Thursday, 3rd January 2019, I'm Delroy Lozan. Grenada's Citizenship by Investment Program has recorded another success story with the opening of the Hideaway True Blue Condominium in the south of the island. Construction on the EC $21 million project began in February 2018, and 10 months later, the 60-bed, fully furnished condos were opened. Local investor Grenadian born Richard Nixon says the condos are presently 100% occupied, as it has been designed to meet the needs of students at the nearby St. George's University. He gave an overview of the project. There are 14 studios, 16 single room studios, and 14 two bedroom units, a gym and a concession store located in the basement. We have a total of 60 beds of which all are currently tenanted. All units are fully furnished, each with a small patio and view. The resident will only have to bring the linens, toiletries, clothing, teddy bears, and so forth. Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell says the opening of the Hideaway condominium speaks volumes to the level of confidence investors place in Grenada. The more we create this opportunity and we bring benefits to the people, the more we see others coming. Because the safety of this country, the peace and order, is a critical factor. Look forward to the second phase and to other activities that will be taking place in this, around this section of our country and other parts of the country. Nixon encouraged locals as well as foreign investors to take advantage of citizenship by investment program. I'd like to publicly endorse the intent of the program because I've seen and experienced the benefits it can bring. This is a program also for Grenadians and not as perceived by many being reserved for foreign investors. At this time, the Act does not discriminate on who can benefit from this program. However, it would be instructive for a special set of incentives which should be afforded to naturally born Grenadians to make getting involved in the CBI business a little bit easier and preferential. In the Caribbean CBI world, this is one of the few projects which have been fully constructed from scratch and completed on schedule and within budget by a naturally born citizen of that country. Manager of Cricket West Indies, Grenadian born Raw Lewis, wants Grenadians to throw their full support behind the regional team which will play two one day international matches against England on February 25th and 27th. England arrives in Barbados on January 11th and the Windies team will be in a short camp from January 17th. During the tour, the teams will play five one-day internationals, three tests and three T20 matches. We want the, the Grenadian public to support, you know, make them feel welcome. We're going to come back to Grenada for many, many matches yes. because that in itself is going to help uh, the young cricketers of Grenada to rub shoulders with international cricket and see how international sportsmen operate yes. because I'm planning to invite people down to come and watch the practice session you know right. be a, you know you wouldn't be able to probably get into the dressing room but come you know who can bowl we probably bring them to bowl in the nets yeah. and it is important to do that so I'm encouraging encouraging everyone school children bring out your grandparents everybody <laughs> to be yeah. part of this Big event. Definitely. The former leg spinner from St. Andrew is looking forward to being on home soil as the manager of the team for the two matches. After playing up for all, through all the different age groups and you know touring all these different countries and that in itself is one of the biggest achievements for me to sit at home in a stadium where you'd have named a stand after me um, and also Junior. And now I'm sitting there as the manager of the team. That's, that's a great pleasure. I will definitely take a photo. I don't take a lot of photos, <laughs> but I'll well, have someone one. take a photo of me sitting there as a the team manager. Definitely. Of course you it's, have It's to. good to be home. I've been begging for that. Lewis says the regional side will go all out to give a good account of itself during the tour. 
we will ensure the people of the Caribbean that we're going to fight for West Indies cricket all the way through and ensure that you know we make the people proud with some good performances on the field and also what we can do off the field you know to support uh, any organization or group of children who are interested um, in getting to know the players and you know relating with them and you know bringing people together as we told the region yeah so yeah we will promise some good performances this is the national report more news after the break we're back with you to continue the work we need you to improve our Grenada, Karku and PT Martinique invest more in the sporting arena to bridge that gap for a lot of young people. I think uh, there should be more forums like this. We need to find a way in which to combat that now. Join us for the next Contributors Forum on Tuesday, January 8th, 2019 from 7 p.m. at the Croshu RC School in St. Andrew. Welcome back. The Royal Grenada Police Force has recorded a successful 2018 Yuletide Task Force operation. That announcement by ACP Jessamine Prince during a press conference held at the police headquarters on Thursday. The briefing was to update the public on the just concluded Yuletide operations. Traffic arrangements, vehicle theft and efforts to minimize crimes throughout Grenada, Karakou and Piti Martinique were some of the areas discussed. While there were some challenges, he is satisfied with the results of the operations. From the intent, we see that we, our plan was going to be, we were going to be challenged with the number of activities that were, that were going to happen around the island during that period of time. And so we anticipated that the challenge was going to be great. And with the support that we got from all the departments within the RGPF, we were able to, at this stage, say that the operations were a great success. Um, success from the fact that uh, there were minimal criminal activities, almost zero major crimes. Um, there were minor incidences, some of which were uh, premised mainly on disorderly behavior and some offensive weapons. Um, we also saw quite a number of vehicular accidents happening, even though we took the opportunity to sensitize the public uh, in the area of uh, road safety. Uh, we still saw quite a number of accidents happening. Um, we also saw uh, a new emerging trend of vehicular theft. Uh, again, persons basically being careless about how they secure their property. And this is something that we spoke about from the onset. ACP Prince commended the general public and the officers of the RGPF in the fight against crime throughout the country. We believe that our operations for Yuletide uh, was, were incident free. Uh, we had a number of police officers on the street and in the communities checking and talking and engaging persons as much as possible. And we think that contributed significantly to the success that we are boasting about now. Uh, but let me hasten to say also that a lot of the success uh, can be attributed to the relationship that we've forged with the public over the many years. Um, we believe that the public assists us tremendously in uh, following some of the directions and guidelines that we would have given and also uh, speaking with us and engaging us on some of the things that um, we eventually found out later on and had to have dealt with. Um, we also want to attribute that success also to the men and women of the Royal Grenada Police Force who uh, worked long hours standing moving around and trying to ensure that things get done and people move about and do their business in a safe environment meanwhile head of traffic inspector linford kingston says the rgpf recorded 457 vehicular accidents during the period november 1st to december 31st 2018. from the first of november to the 31st of december we have recorded 457 accidents out of that 457 from the 21st of December to the 1st of January, we have recorded 97. And out of that 97, one of it is serious. 
and the drivers range between the ages within the 20s to 50s. And finally in the news, Grenada is embarking on the second round of public consultations that will help shape the National Sustainable Development Plan being prepared to guide this country's development priorities over the 15-year period 2020 to 2035. Round two of the consultations will begin on Tuesday, January 8th at the Crochu RC School from 7 p.m. It will target residents of Mount Fan, Hope, La Poetry, Mamacan, Crochu, and Felix Park, to name a few. The national plan will identify strategic priorities to address crucial social, economic, environmental, and other challenges that undermine Grenada's development. The ultimate aim of the national plan is to fundamentally improve the way we live, work, interact, and treat our natural environment. It envisions that by 2035, Grenada will be a resilient and prosperous nation. A series of consultations have already been done at the national and sectorial levels. That story signals the end of the national report for Thursday, 3rd January 2019. Now for a recap of the top story making the news, another success story recorded on the Grenada's Citizenship by Investment Program with the opening of the Hideaway True Blue Condominium in the south of the island. That's the National Report. On behalf of the entire news team here at the Government Information Service, I'm Delroy Lozan, thanking you for joining us.